And I would say that you're worried way too much about the future and you just need to focus on right now and be the best version of yourself today. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAD. How are you doing today? Doing good, doing good. What can I help you with? Um, so I just had a couple questions. I'm kind of mapping out like when I'm setting off my application and um, trying to make sure that I'm checking up all the, all, all the boxes that I need in order to um, show medical schools that I have the ability to do well in, med in medical school. But a big issue that I was dealing with just in undergrad in general was I went to a really um, intense um, top 20 university and um, I was, have always had my mindset on doing pre-med in some way, shape, or form. And at the time, I thought that I wanted to do an MD-PhD, and I still think I want to do that. Um, I got into a research program in the, the end of my first semester in my freshman year. And so that kind of motivated me to try and stick it out in terms of trying to get all the requirements that I needed in, um, sticking out MD -PhD, the MD-PhD MD route, even though it's like super intense, but um, an issue that I was sort of dealing with was I kind of had an upward trend in my GPA, which I started off kind of um, a below 3.0, uh, 3.0, like around a 2.8, um, 2.7. And then I got it up to a 3.2 um, in the second semester of my freshman year. But um, in the second semester of my freshman year, that's when the pandemic started, kind of like cut it off. And uh, my grades kind of like reflected how much like the pandemic kind of affected me. So um, that was my sophomore year, which was um, last year. And then in my junior year, in the beginning of my junior year, which is this year, um, I ended up starting the semester off at the former university that I went to. And I ended up withdrawing and um, coming to a university um, that was closer to um, my home. So uh, my question is like, how would adcoms possibly look at my transcript or um, what opinion they would have uh, seeing as I transfer to another university and I'm trying to finish up my requirements so that I can reflect that I have the academic ability to be a productive medical student. And also, I also want to ask, like, how important clinical experience is, um, as opposed to research experience when you're going on the MD PhD route. Because I've been doing research um, for the past three and two and a half years, and um, I've had two summers already where I presented my research and things like that. And I'm currently scribing, um, so just wanted to ask those two fundamental questions. Yeah, so the first question, do you think you're the first student ever to transfer universities? I mean, of course not, no, but <laughs> like it was still just like a kind of a jarring experience um, because I feel like you invest so much time in like a university experience and having to like leave because you want to be in a position where you can be more academically like exceptional the, mo the most academically that you can be right of but course. it still hurt me a lot because it was just like i had built so many relationships at the other university and i also um have built so many relationships with people that i was doing research with and yeah um wanted to continue that. but but you weren't going to no. be successful there yeah, I wasn't going to be in a position where I felt after my four years that I would be in a good place to apply to medical school. And that's not what a position that I wanted to be in. I really wanted to um, invest my time in undergrad and then finish and then maybe have some um, years doing just research individually. But the whole point of like me doing the MD-PhD route was because I wanted to invest my time in terms of um, sharpening my research skills as well as like getting the clinical like relationship that I would get to build as an MD student. 
Yeah. Um, so that's yeah. kind of where. So I, again, going back to my original question, do you think you're the only person that's transferred universities? Obviously not. No, no. You're not the first pre-med to transfer universities. So that doesn't matter. As long as if it comes up anywhere, which it usually doesn't because transferring universities is a very common thing. If it comes up, then you just say, I, I just didn't feel like I could thrive at that school. And so I moved closer to home where I had more support or whatever those reasons are. Those are the reasons. Perfectly fine. Not an issue. Show that you're academically capable moving forward. That's it. End of story. That's that's really all that matters. So to your second question, in terms of how important is clinical research if you're applying MD-PhD, it's still vitally important because you're still applying to medical school. You're still applying to school saying, I want to be a doctor. Yes, I want to be a physician scientist, but I still want to be a doctor. And so that interest in patients still needs to be there. And the MD-PhD route obviously needs that research interest as well, which it sounds like you've, you've gotten taken care of um, as well. You're scribing, you're getting research, sounds like you're doing everything you need to be doing to prove to yourself first and foremost that this is what you want, and then be able to prove to the medical schools that you understand what you're getting yourself into. Another question that I wanted to ask was this period of me transferring was kind of just like a probationary period for myself to be able to be like, oh, how can I set myself up to be more academically like um, capable, like in whatever, whatever environment that I am, I'm in. Right. Um, and so right now the plan was just to finish the semester off. I'm taking one, um, basic science course. I had to retake general chemistry both year, um, semesters and, um, general biology because I would end up with C minuses in those classes, but of course, like medical schools want to C or above. So, yep. uh, and I'm just finishing other requirements for my neuroscience major. But um, one of the potential paths that I was thinking about going on was going back to my former university out of state and um, changing my major and not taking classes, the basic science courses that I wasn't um, doing well in at the university. And I don't know how that could possibly look for to admission committees but what what would be the point of that um just it's a more financially viable uh path because right now i'm at the university that i'm in i had a full scholarship at the um other university that i was at and um also a connection to like a lot more resources in terms of like research opportunities that i was at um that were available to me as well as like clinical experience that I could get because it was associated with a medical center. And um, as opposed to the university that I'm in now, which I have a research position at this university, it's just, uh, I don't, the, fi the financial situation is kind of different now because I switched like mid semester. And um, so I just, I don't know. I, I thought that it would be more financially viable to, um, position for me to be in to go back as well as like showcasing like growth having gone through the experience leaving having this period and then coming back um and finishing my degree as well as giving myself more time to um like chill i was planning on taking the mcat this summer and from next fall figuring out what i was going to do next and from there um, figuring out when I was going to apply. Um, and right now the plan is to apply, um, the cycle after next cycle. Um, so, uh, in 20, in the in 2020, summer of 2023. The summer of 2024 or three? Four. 2024. To start summer medical school in 2025. Yes. Okay. You, you may have an issue if you're going to take the MCAT this summer. You may have an issue with that because 
the MCAT expires, unfortunately. So just, just make sure that you're not taking the MCAT too early, depending on what your timeline looks like. But to, to the heart of your question in terms of going back to your old institution, staying your, like, do what you need to do. Don't worry. You're, the question comes from worrying about how medical schools are going to view it. Do what you need to do. The medical schools that will understand and will learn to learn to understand and accept that are going to. The schools that aren't, aren't. You need to do what you need to do, period. It's definitely just been like a hard time coming um, because um, especially when I wasn't doing well at my former university, um, I was definitely like, I could just get a PhD and see where that lands or apply to medical school and see where that lands and see because I did listen to the, the pre-major podcast that you had um, with an MD who does research, um, who wasn't a, a physician scientist in an MD PhD program. So um, that's definitely um, other routes. I'm planning on not only applying to MD PhD programs, but applying to MD programs where the MD PhD program either isn't present or isn't um, like doesn't accept as many spots and um, trying to like make sure that I'm in the best position so that I can uh, leave school and possibly be in medical school or not have too much time in between so that it doesn't feel like I'm spinning my wheels or um, not optimizing like my own potential in what I want to do in my future that makes any sense yeah so and i would say that you're worried way too much about the future and you just need to focus on right now and be the best version of yourself today that you can be and if you do today well and tomorrow well and the next day well all of the rest will take care of itself um duck and cover at this point i'm trying <laughs> Not duck and cover. Guys- Not duck and cover. That's that's <laughs> hiding. You don't want to hide. You want to go on the offense right sure. now and just take over the world and, and show no, them what sure. you're made of. No, for sure. Um, I'm going to try and um, do as much as I can in this um, research lab, try and get a publication out in the summer and um, do a describe, describe thing and um, try and take my MCAT around the summer and see, make sure that I make sure to be mindful of the dates so that I, it doesn't expire when I try yeah. to apply. And um, from there, like seeing where it goes from here, I don't want to stress myself out too much and then not be <laughs> too like, late. <laughs> <laughs> be scared to apply because um, this is definitely like a profession that I like had long thoughts, long hard thoughts about and is a personal connection to me. So Good. Um, I wanted to make sure that if this is something that I want to dedicate myself to that I um, did everything I can to get myself there. You're doing it one day at a time. Uh, for that For that MCAT, go to blueprintmcat.com. Go sign up for a free account. You get access to a free full-length, free diagnostic, free study planner tool to help get you started there. Thanks so much, Dr. Have a great one.